Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today we have a very interesting car and it's the Mercedes-Benz CLA 45 AMG from 2016, which means it's the facelift version. This is a very controversial car because the car came out back in the day when AMG used to have V8, 6.2 liters, 5.5 liters B turbocharged engines. This was presented as the first four cylinder, two liter turbocharged engine from AMG. This is a manly engine and something that we have to talk about because it actually produces a lot of horsepower. It has 381 horsepower and 475 newton meters of torque out of a two liter turbocharged engine pushing 1.8 bar into this tiny little engine. Accelerates the car from 0 to 100 in 4.2 seconds with a 7-speed MCT gearbox and tops out at 270 kph. Fuel consumption about 7 to 8 liters depending on how you drive. If you really push it forward, 11 liters. If you want to see our driving review on that car, we did a whole driving experience where we pushed it really hard on YouTube, make sure to check out uh, the link in the description. So there are a couple of things that I like especially about this car. I like how the front light design is, I like the opening here and I like that they kind of made it premium although this is the new baby Benz. Before it was always the C-Class, now we have the A-Class and the CLA making the baby Benz appear in a new way. Here also very nice interesting cutting lines i like it i like the power domes i like the front part of the car very much we have beautiful wheels we have beautiful brakes and the silhouette is very interesting too the a-class and the cla are not combined cars anymore they look pretty similar in the front but the a-class has a limousine also and the cla is now a separated car but back in the day in 2014 to 2016 those cars were the same basically one longer version and one a little smaller version with a hatchback here we have this coupe like form still a four-door car a very interesting looking and actually long greenhouse where the passengers and the people at the back sit in very nice wheels black and gray combination and now we come to the part i don't like that much and it's the taillight design i really don't like it there's just one color it doesn't have anything very interesting to it they are kind of too big and they make it look cheap in my opinion we have the spoiler lip here i don't mind that because it's in the color of the car and then the exhaust pipes that show you that this is a four cylinder because the other ones they always have this square big exhaust pipes separated from each other here we have this rectangular form that combines the two exhaust pipes into one we are going to travel with a cla so we have to check out the luggage space press the button it opens automatically but it doesn't close automatically you have to do it yourself okay what we have here is 470 liters of space it's a good size actually the only thing is just i don't think i don't understand why you make it automatic to go up but you do not integrate a button to close it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the interior of the CLA 45 AMG. And as you can tell, it looks very nice. Everything looks very nice. Everything looks fancy. Red, black, gray, silver color combinations. But, a big but. So what we have here is an amount of plastic that you don't see in other premium Mercedes cars. For example, this is plastic. Here on the side, also plastic. Down here where the gear knob is, is plastic. The buttons are plastic. On the dashboard, plastic. This is kind of a gummy, uh, but also plastic material. And the vents are plastic. So everything basically you see is plastic. Beside this beautiful leather steering wheel. When the sun shines in, maybe from here or there, because we have a panoramic roof, the plastic is going to melt away at some point. Here you can already see it. This car has 115,000 kilometers. It's still a beautiful car, very well maintained, but the plastic is going to suffer a little bit. Other than that, I like how it looks. It's just the use of materials really give you a little bit of a cheap feeling. But I sit very nicely inside here. The seats are also very comfortable. It's this leather and Alcantara combination. I like that the roof of the car isn't gray or white it's black of course this is an amg so it has to be kind of it has to look at least premium and have a great seat position i can move my seat forward here this doesn't have electric 
uh, seats, but you could get those. What is very important in the interior of the CLA45 AMG is this little gear knob here. And it's the control of what driving mode you have. So when you start a car up, for example, you are in classic mode. So classic mode is just you're cruising, you're easy going, you're driving pretty economically. Then when you go to sport, the car becomes a little bit more stiff, steering wheel is a little stiffer, but the valves don't open up. You could actually open it yourself with that button here, or you can go to Sport Plus, which means the car is now on its hardest settings. The throttle response is higher, even the neutral RPM is a little bit higher, the steering wheel is even stiffer, and everything feels a little bit more precise. And that is great, and how that sounds? Listen now. Compare that to today's four cylinders. This is miles better, miles better. Let's open in the back and see how the space is. So getting in, you have to watch out for your head so you don't hit it on this steep decline of the coupe form. And I sit actually pretty easy. So I haven't changed my driving position. I have a little bit of knee space, but this was expected. It's a small, pocket rocket car what i don't have is headroom so this is a little bit of a shame but i don't think that yeah i mean i'm pretty tall 185 but i don't think that a lot of people are going to travel with this car to uh, far away spaces when you have children this is perfect you have your isofix you have all of that what you don't have is an armrest here that is a little bit of a shame and you don't have any cup holders you don't have a two zone climate control so you are depending on the front climate control settings you can only turn it on or off and that's about it for the back there's really not a lot of stuff you have some storage space on the left and right side also some stitchings here but other than that it doesn't really feel very comfortable the seat belts are also red i like that and uh, yeah that's about it <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.